Games off again. The end. <laughs> Such a face. All done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You stay away from motor vehicles, Nick. I, I I was not driving that motor vehicle this time. To be fair, it was Andy. Mm -hmm. I'm still waiting for Are Nick to actually them? read through his. I'm still waiting for Nick to read through his folio, and realize how much of an idiot he has been. But so far, I'm I'm living in anticipation, and it's pretty no. cool. No, never gonna happen. <laughs> Oh, okay. Fair enough. The reason why is because it's, it's not my motorcycle. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. It's not your motorcycle. But there were a few instances uh, where things could have gone differently. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, sorry. A couple of seconds. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no bother. Um, okay. So we're not going to do a refresh on characters because you all should pretty much know each other by now. I'm hoping you all got a little bit of a feel for how the characters work and how they react. Um, so if not, don't worry. You've got plenty of opportunity to figure it out or die trying in the very near future. Um, just a brief recap. Uh, you guys took a dart off to the west uh, because Kerwick <laughs> knew that he had a uh, connection in a nomad trap. And in case you couldn't see me there, I was doing the air brackets for connection. Um, because if it hadn't been for some quick thinking on the part of you guys, he would have completely and utterly gubbed that uh, quite badly. Uh, you guys also managed to head off the uh, Pears <laughs> brothers from also making a disturbance amongst the nomad tribe and uh, weaseled out a deal where you would go and help them clear out some road warriors who were busy beginning to try to encroach on the area um, and you did so within about 10 seconds I think yeah it wasn't I think it much. <laughs> was one round effectively. you literally <laughs> arrived uh, who was scared witless yes um, and other than that it's just a matter of cleaning up the bodies and policing your rounds right now um, the nomads of course are like you know like what the fuck just happened? We're, and, you know, pretty much stunned. They're really, really excited because this is a problem that's bugging them for quite some time, but they're also a little bit shocked about just how quickly everything went down. <laughs> um, <laughs> more importantly, these road warriors have left pretty much everything. Um, they haven't, you know, I mean, the place is a mess. It's an old ghost town. They haven't really been looking after it. Um, but yes, all of their bikes, all of their cars, all of their weapons, uh, their stashes and stuff like that, pretty much untouched. Kerwick, of course, doesn't want to know about this. He's like, you know, come on, back on the track. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, Mitch, of course, is busy sitting there looking at the wreck of his bike and busy, you know, wondering how the hell he's going to get out of here. Um, and the rest of you are busy looking around going, eh, so this is what happens on a sunny Thursday. Um, yeah, okay, that's about it. Hmm? Anybody remember that they have a mortar? Hmm? Uh, they do have a mortar, yes. If they even have a few. Yeah. They even have a few rounds for it. Well, had they at least mm -hmm. got one off? They got one less than they had. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if anybody has heavy weapons and wants to have some fun, here we go. Or if some techie wants to defuse everything, we should sing giggles. Any okay. ten millimeter or six point five rounds for a rifle uh, or pistol. Possibly, but before we go do that, what I'd like to have happen is uh, for somebody to roll initiative so that we can get some order going on here. Someone random. Okay, Dan Drix, it was Menzies, it's you. Good. No pressure, Rue. Pressure, 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 lots of pressure. pressure. D10. Oh. Okay. There's the, there's the dice Three. Thing. Uh, yeah, it's roll up from, from role playing oh. text, the, the link is still there. Yeah. Okay, so everybody add three to your initiative and tell me what you got because I'm too lazy to look it up myself. Oh, damn it, we have to do work. Ah, that's bullshit. Oh, yes. Uh, the, we also add combat sense and all that stuff, right? Which is uh, yeah, but your initiative should already have that in. Mm hmm. What are you doing? You're not going. Drink. Check with my cybers. Are we adding on to the three? Yeah, scroll, 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 scroll. John? Yeah? Are we adding on to the three that was rolled? Yeah, 
So when you take a look at your init section, there should be a plus something that should, in theory, have everything already in there. So for those of you that's... Ah, 17, John. Oh, that's intelligent. Hold on. I the wrong thing. There we go, yeah. So, it's got a slash, so... You choose the lower one. Choose the lower one. You use the... It's the high one unless if you have something like a sheathing. You mm -hmm. ignore the pluses because that's normally your boosters and stuff. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. You still have to activate yeah, them. And not... of course, you're not going to activate them while just looking at uh, Sometimes it. it's that and sometimes it's armor. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, I think, for example, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty pretty much so. So, for example, Rue, for you, your initiative is normally 5, plus 3 is 8. Mm -hmm. That's when your armor is closed. If your armor is open, it's 9. And if you're boosting, then it's 11. Yeah, okay, then it's 8. Yeah. Um, I thought it was a plus 1 due to the synaptic resheathing. Plus 1. Yeah. Uh, it's synaptic resheathing and something else. Uh, so you'll no, see there... Got two items on top of that. Yeah, that's my plus 2. The synaptic yeah. resheathing is plus 1 ref, basic. Mm -hmm. Not initiative. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, Jen, you've got a 17. Yes. Okay, that, that's without your boost, remember? Yeah, yeah, that's standard. That'll climb to 21. No, no, no. no. It's, it's, <laughs> it's 14 mm -hmm. uh, normal, 18 at a boost. So it's 14 plus mm -hmm. 3. Okay. So plus 3 when you actually do the boost? No. No, no, no. Your roll was three, so it's fourteen plus three. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's seventeen. Yes. Okay, but when you actually activate your boost, you get an additional. Oh, four, my my so. apologies. Yes, it's another four on top of it. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I was just commenting because that's freaking high. It's it's a it's a little quick. Yeah, it, it'll do. Okay, um, Dan. <laughs> Peter, that's you, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, minus 10. So 10, not minus 10. What? Oh, just 10. Yeah, Mine like, is 10. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thea? He done fucked up. <laughs> Holy cow. What did you do? <laughs> okay, Thea, what you got? 12. 12. And Tarrant, I think you've got 12 as well. I have no idea, because whilst you were explaining, I was looking for the damn dice link. You don't have to roll <laughs> yet. What you do is you go to your character sheet, and you go down to initiative next to your run stat. All right, six. Yeah. What Plus do you mean three? next to run? It's just there. Int, six. No, that's no, intelligence. No, no. Roll. In it. That's, that's, that's roll down. Go yeah. down. Scroll down. Ah, yeah. in it. It's in 12. It. In it. Yes, next to run. Winner. In it. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's let's put it this way. It's normally 13, but it becomes 12 when you button up. And then when you're in a vehicle, you get an additional plus two. When you're in control of a vehicle, sorry. I don't know. I see four numbers, 9, 10, 11, and 12. I'm just going to go with what you say, John. Yeah. Okay. Plus, so plus one from last mm -hmm. week's session. Session is finished. <laughs> It's no, no. You finished. said plus everything for tonight and next session. Last oh, session. I did. Yes, my apologies because you carried it so well. Okay, we'll let you get away with it. So in that case, you're definitely sitting at a 14 and then you drop to a 13 when you button up. Okay, not a problem on that score. So now that we've got initiatives down, we can go in order as soon as I move everybody around, actually. And sorry, I just want to keep it copacetic. Okay, <laughs> we'll start off with Peter, uh, with Jen. Yes. Okay, so Jen, you pick yourself up, dust yourself off, take a look at the bike, probably give it a <laughs> kick or two. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean... <laughs> Maybe give Mitch a kick or two as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I look at Mitch and I basically say, it was a simple power slide. That's all you had to do. And then I walk off to the okay. barn. Okay. Mitch looks a bit sheepish, but yeah, not much he can do about that. <laughs> okay. You mentioned something about looking for 10 moles. Yeah, 10, to anything for my rifle or my gun, my hand pistol. Okay. Not a problem. We'll do the standard 20% chance. I don't think there's much. Okay. Because these guys uh, tend to, yeah, it? absolutely nothing. Okay. You lots of 9 mole, lots uh -huh. of 14 mole, nothing else. Okay. It's either piddly little pea shooters or overpowered hand cannons. That's all they've got. 
Uh, wait, uh, I'm not using cold EMT. That's fine. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, sorry, 12 millimeters, not 14. It's big, but not that big. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next on the list. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. Tarrant, you're next. Anything you want to do? I'm also looking for millimeters, but by millimeters, I mean of whiskey. <laughs> what do you mean milliliters then? <laughs> I'm starting. Yeah. I'm starting to Jones. I need a you drink. Leave yeah. your metric crap at home, Nick. Yeah. It's the US of A. Bounces, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Mm. Okay. It's to the be future, honest, damn it. it's, a, <laughs> it's a road warrior encampment. So yes, there's plenty. Take your pick. Okay. Most of it's just cheap ass rot grub. Uh, rot grub, grud. Ah, oh, fuck. Whatever it's called. The good um, stuff, John. Whatever the this good is, stuff. The good stuff in this case is probably like uh, the cleaner. dregs of a 24 pack, which was actually bought from a supermarket down like two, three weeks ago, and it's been laying in the desert sun since then. Um, you mean you, know, you can cold. tell that because the plastic cans have sort of like expanded slightly and they're no longer cylindrical, they're more like oval. I guess the chances um, of picking up some engine cleaner and just pouring it into like and decanting it into a bottle for them wouldn't matter. <laughs> There's probably no engine cleaner here. There's plenty of dirty <laughs> engines, but no engine cleaner. Oh, just cap off the, okay. the fuel tank. Um, <laughs> that, being, that being said, uh, you can take an awareness check. Uh, I'll give you a plus one on that. In fact, I'll give you a plus two for your desperation. Just to see if you can maybe dig up anything else. Okie dokie. While he's doing that, Menzies, um, you've got yeah. a couple of bruises uh, here. Uh, Jen and Mitch are looking a bit... Uh, you know, there's nothing serious, but you may want to check them over. Uh, and yeah. meanwhile, the bandits in the bandit wagon uh, did have a grenade hit at them. Um, it's kind of hard to tell whether they actually realize it, let alone if they are affected by it. But the paintwork on their car is pretty much scratched. That's about as bad as it gets. Hmm. That being said, you want to check for concussions, secondary lacerations that some people may not be aware of. I was going to ask our techie. Uh, mm. In the future, do you think the next time they they go to sleep, whatever in their van, you think you could just weld it shut? <laughs> <laughs> could be possible. Okay, yeah. Rue, you want to do anything? Check anybody out? Yeah, I want to go check out the well. Number one, the the buddy I gave a call to, mm -hmm. and if possible, Jen, because they seem to have a fairly gnarly power slide. I mean, yeah, they had did. a bike land on them, so yeah, really the ones definitely cussing and walking idea. off, but. Mm -hmm. Do a med check test, and Rob. Meanwhile, what did you get? Sorry, I Tarrant. got. I got a four plus. Your uh, awareness. 10. Plus ten. Fourteen. Okay, dude. You don't find anything. It's uh, basically a difference between warm pig swill and homemade pig swill. I'll go for the homemade. Fuck it. Take both. <laughs> just, just block your nose, dude. Block your nose. <laughs> Throw back. <laughs> the end result should okay. be the same. <laughs> Rue, what'd you get? Tell um, me, tell I'm going to assume I'm excluding my kit at this. It's going to be 26. 26. The That'll doctor do. is in the house. Okay. Uh, Nick and Mitch. Mitch? Yes. Mitch? Where are you, Mitch? <laughs> you can both take off He's two probably... points of damage. Cool. All right. Mitch is probably from your stunt. Doing, looking at his bike stall. Uh, oh, yeah. Mitch is uh, busy. Mendez can find me sort of wandering around the, the warehouse, like on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, he just basically does some checks, looks you over and says, okay, well, yeah, shows look my into arm, this. turn left, turn right, cough. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty turn much. Your voice box. <laughs> yep, no, that's still attached. <laughs> yeah. No, basically, he but just patents you up, hits you with a little painkiller, and you're like, oh, that's the good stuff. And those two points disappear. So you're still lightly injured, but you're less lightly injured than uh, you were. Oh, Boosh. good. To safe update. Okay. Yes. Dan, everyone seems to have forgotten you. Only help by yourself. Yep. You're a good, what, 300 meters out? 400 meters? 350? And yeah, everybody's just sort of like de downed. They're busy scuffing around in the bodies. You've got a couple of very easy headshots from here. Dan. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Shh. Everybody seems to have pretty much forgotten you. Oh, uh, you've also forgotten Drix, I think, as well. 
Uh, no, your initiative is better no, than it's Trix. Be it's because you no. are 300 meters away from us up on a hill, and we've started sort of scavenging around already. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, sorry, Peter, just to explain, I'm going in order of initiative, just to keep things simple yeah. as to who does what, and Drix is unfortunately the slow man of the group. Dummy. Okay. Um, so, I can't remember. Someone mentioned last time that maybe I could... I don't think I actually have the skill for this, though. I can't... Mm -hmm. I don't have any hacking skills or anything like that, do I? It's library search. Library search. Yeah. It's called live I, research. I guess I basically want to see if I can find out what uh, Link was up to in that last game. Not a problem at all. Okay, live research plus your... So in other words, what everybody's ignoring you, you're busy at work with your computer. Makes perfect yeah, sense. Okay, so while they're all busy mucking about, I want you to make a live research roll. Okay. Add your skills. Yeah. Tell me what you get. Now, I'm. this isn't going to be a, you know... Bang, you suddenly are revealed with the evil mastermind's plans yeah, and everything. <laughs> First of all, you have to establish a link into the actual truck itself. Then you'll have to break through its firewall. Doesn't then you'll look have to like I'm likely to get it. So you can what, always what try. You can always get a 10. Okay, live research. Okay. So that's plus 6. So I've only got 10. Uh, your your plus skill your plus int. your int. Uh, no, plus, my int. plus my int. No, no, no. The skill should have it all there for oh, you. Oh, right. Sorry. No, his isn't tallied up in the column. It says in Is brackets it? eight. Oh. It says in brackets eight, and then it says six in BK. Okay, hang on. I don't even know what I'm doing. What I was doing there. Let's go back and. It's Fourteen before roll. Oh God, yes. Sorry, dude. I didn't add up for you. Oh, that's why. It's fourteen before a roll, but your computer's got <laughs> an advanced CPU as well. So it's actually 16 before a roll. Ah. So that's 20. Okay. So about you not having much of a chance of this, mm -hmm. dude, you basically slice through the connecting firewall without much trouble at all. Okay. Um, you, The fact that the computer was connected to the hardware directly before this all happens means that you've already established the protocols and you're literally in without too much of a problem. Trying to get through the firewall without anybody noticing is going to be a little bit difficult, but your computer is especially, it's pretty specialized for that. Um, it's its not specialized, but it's just damn good, period. Best money you can buy. Um, I'm going to give it a tiny while, but then I want you to make another roll to see if you can get through the firewall without anybody noticing. Before okay. we do that, though, Drix, what are you doing, if anything, besides admiring your handiwork? <laughs> You've literally pinpricked some corrugated iron if I remember correctly um, and also yeah pretty much shot the shit out of everything that moved yeah I remember that anything impressive beyond what you've already done that you want to do impressive I'm not good at impressive uh, what might be a good idea is to get down there and try scavenge I mean Drix is good at finding all sorts of interesting things but I don't yeah. Remember that you've got your your special skill is recon, which means you get to add that to your awareness when you're searching through for anything that might be of use. Okay, I'll, I'll scavenge those those people, and I'll then I find all. a treasure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you wander around scavenging. Make a die roll, and then add your awareness. As a D D eight. D10. D10. It's almost always. Okay. Nine. Okay, so that's a total of 31. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first, th first things first, you know, you find the following. Okay. Uh, yes, there is a mortar. Uh, it's an old mortar. This thing looks like it comes from World War II. Okay. Um, Literally, it's 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 still made out of metal. The damn thing is heavy. There's no plastic composites in it whatsoever. Uh, there's a little case next to it, which holds about, which looks as though it could hold about six rounds. It now holds three. Okay, but they're those old fin-shelled metal mortar cases. You also find, tucked behind a whole bunch of crap, uh, you know, garbage rubbish, somebody's tucked that over a backpack. 
When you haul the backpack out, inside you find a whole bunch of stuff. Um, the most important is a stack of cash. There's got to be a good 900 euro in there at least. Uh, there's two bottles of, I don't know, something that just goes clink when you actually uh, take a look inside of it. Um, or whatever this is, it's good stuff. Uh, and then there's a couple of plastic filmed packets of what's... God, you don't know. It's drugs of some sort, but you need to get a med tech of some sort to actually identify what they are. Oh, if only we had one. Okay. Mm. Yeah. One that's good. Just okay. Personally, hmm? it's what I do. Uh, well, You're sorry, try, try it first. Sure I... <laughs> so, well, you experiment. Yeah, take a look, see what happens. Yeah, take a look. Okay. Um, and then, in a white sheath, oh, it's a white leather sheath, there is a beautiful beautiful white mono knife um literally the handle is white the blade is white and it's got that sort of glimmer around the edge that tells you straight off that this is a very very sharp mono knife uh, personally it's a bit too flashy for your sort of tastes i mean heck it's a mono knife these things are pretty cool um definitely not the sort of thing that you'd expect to find in a road warriors stash this looks like it's customized, highly, highly um, personalized, and more importantly, it's got a button on the hilt. Push the button. Push it. <laughs> do, 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 <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Other than that, wandering around, you find quite a couple of weapons. Most of them just seem to be, you know, run of the mold stuff. Um, light assault rifles, one or two sawn off shotguns, um, one big ass um, Armalite 44, uh, which is like a, a knockoff of the Colt AMT 2000, uh, and then one or two pea shooters, you know, the plastic type that you get out of a vending machine. Nothing really over much. Okay. The true find, though, has got to be the three cyber bikes that are stuck in the warehouse behind the car. Uh, absolute beautiful beasts. Uh, they're pretty dirty, but when you pop open and take a look inside, the actual engines themselves are in pretty good working order. These were obviously high-end, high-class, but they have been pretty badly treated. But for all that, they are really, really good machines. You wouldn't have any problems riding them yourself once you've taken off a few of the rivet plates that have been bolted on and stuff like that. Okay, right. While uh, you decide what, if anything... Hmm? Say what? <laughs> I said, this reminds me of something. <laughs> that's my catchphrase. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> While that's all happening, we're going to go back to Dan quick. Dan, I want you to make another roll for the firewall. That's you, Peter. You are Dan. <laughs> Be right back. This reminds me of something. <laughs> okay, six, sixteen, twenty-two. No, twenty-two. Not a problem. Okay, dude, you're through the firewall. Now it's time to start actually trying to figure out uh, what's going on inside here. You've got plenty of time for that once we mount back up onto the truck, which we're about to do now. Unless anybody else has got any interesting that they want to do. Ish. By anyone, I'm looking at you, Menzies. Never, ever name a character after a person in the game again. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Other going critters. to be you guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, the critters with us, do they require anything? Damn. Uh, yep, you probably could do a, a check over without any trouble. Uh, I'm specifically looking at Menzies, though. He's in a bit of a bind yeah. right now because he's literally in the middle of nowhere. And his bike just got totaled. Uh, the Mitch? nomads, uh, sorry, Mitch. Mitch, yeah. Uh, the nomads are busy and are like busy tearing around, pulling everything to part and piling it onto their ship, onto their cars and whatnot. Uh, they are literally grabbing everything they can just before Drix, you know, sort of puts his hands on stuff. Um, uh, yeah. Perhaps then someone should mention to poor old Mitch that there could be a replacement for his motorcycle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Menzies? Drix? Yes. Am I aware you of these motorbikes? Uh, you're not, but I mean, you may want to talk to Mitch in any case and just say, look, you know, we're going to get you sorted out. It's okay. Yeah, well, 
that mm. and we only really hired him for this job or this once off mm. yeah yeah uh, is he welcome to join us beyond this point Fine, Dead weight. i with, say we get rid uh, of him <laughs> we could always eat him rob it's okay engage. i can put his buddy <laughs> We'll see if we want an additional body on. I think it's more a case of whether you want him and whether Mittens. Uh, Kerwick is probably not going to be too okay with the idea because he doesn't know him. But I mean, if you vouch for him, he may stand yeah. for it. Can always How shoot does him. Jen feel about this? Hmm? How does? How does Jen feel about this? <laughs> Good question, actually. Okay. Uh, well, you know, I'm willing yeah, to give I'm... him a, a redemption mm -hmm. go, you know, another chance <laughs> on the back of the motorcycle. <laughs> oh, that motorcycle's kind of rubbish right now. I meant the new one. Uh, okay, yeah, so I assume I'm that we're giving... To keep an extra hand on. Uh, okay, I mean, so I assume we're going to give... Yeah. I assume we're giving Mitch one of the bikes. Um, I'm going to have you do a social role, though, just to see if you can convince Kerwick. If you fuck up on this, Kerwick's going to be like, hell no. Other than that, yeah. yeah, he's probably easy. He doesn't really care as long as he doesn't have to pay him. Oh, he fucked up. <laughs> oh, fucked up early. Yeah, you fucked oh, up badly dear. as well. All right, I unsheathed my knife. We're clearly getting rid of Mitch. <laughs> 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 oh, gods, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, oh, not a problem at all. How badly do you fuck up? I think you got to touch rolls. Oh, uh, four. four. Okay, it's just not a big, not a very good thing. Basically, yeah, uh, he's like, no, don't know him, don't trust him. No hangers on, no extras. We got to keep this clean. He's not been vetted, like anybody's been vetted. But uh, no, Kerwick's doing the Kerwick thing. He's like, you know, I'm in charge. I say who comes with. He doesn't. Okay. Yeah. So Perfect. yeah, sorry, Kerwick. Here's a nice bike for you, but thanks for the help. You're on your way home. Okay. Do you remember you've got a folio of phone numbers? Mitch is just one yep. of them. Don't be too yep. disappointed. Lots of booty calls available. <laughs> <laughs> I know his people. Yeah. Somehow. What? Okay. Other than that, guys, there's not much else that you can do here. Anybody want to disappear off? Do anything? Notice anything? Otherwise, we're going to get back on the track and I, be on our I, way. I was going to shoot Kerwick, but uh, I guess we could just move along with the story then. Mm, but shooting Kerwick would probably move the story along really, really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot Kerwick, take the track. Corporations now are Go, now go on you. the run. <laughs> I don't know, guys. What do you think? You know, What's the worst that can happen? Rich. In My theory, friend. nobody knows where you are. Has anybody bothered to see what it is that we are transporting? No, because remember, tight. it's been welded shut. Ah. Considering the amount of C6 that you guys have got, as well as the assorted um, well, I'm pretty sure the tech mono got weapons a, got a and whatnot, yeah, there are various ways of opening this truck. Well, let's let's quiet. let's see by the end of this session. Depend. Let's see how pear shaped it goes before we decide to cut it yeah. open. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like and then, if we get attacked again, yeah. I say we uh, consider what it is that we're carrying that everybody wants well, to get. Well, well, you know, I, I indicate uh, to Torrance and I, and I look at Kerwick and I, you know, show the, you know, the, you know, the. The, the removing of the head, you know, like, you know, if he causes us trouble later down the line. And I just give him the nod. <laughs> Tarrant? You're so I on not, board with this. I, I, I nod in appro approvement, yes. Approvement. <laughs> okay. Approval. Fair enough. Of Jen or of the idea? Of the idea. Just checking. Because, you know, with Tarrant, it could go either way. <laughs> I see. Okay, fair enough. So nobody wants to do anything impressive. You leave the mortar, Drix, you're leaving the cash, the booze, the drugs, the gun, the knives. Try. Uh, me? Drix, yeah. I'm not leaving it. Oh, okay, just checking, because you didn't, right. you didn't say that you took it. Okay, nobody want a, a cyber bike? Well, we give one to Mitch, I guess. Uh, fair enough. For whatever okay. reason, he gets it. Uh, I guess mm -hmm. I could take the motorcycle if I don't feel like being stuck inside. That's true. Uh, Wait a second. Wait what a second. about the nomad warrior with the big well, bulky arms? Indeed. Let's put it this way. Whatever you guys don't take is going to be claimed. <laughs> um, I can take the motorcycle. Mm -hmm. But I want it. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I think I think I've been uh, stuck inside a little too long. <laughs> okay, not a problem. There's three of them. By the way, if you don't take any of them, they're going to be Oh, okay, I want one. I want one. Okay. Not a problem at all. I actually have a motorcycle skill, so yep. apparently I'm adept with one. <laughs> Remember, you get one. plus two initiative while you're driving it, and you also have plus two to control rolls because of your vehicle Zen. And, and universal links? What does that do? Plus two coolness. Mm -hmm. Plus two intercept. Universal links lets you link into the actual weapon, it's, uh, into the weapon vehicle itself. Okay. If the vehicle is smart wired. Okay. None of these are smart wired. Oh, okay. All right. Standard. All right. Just checking. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. cool. Right. So you guys are all taking off. Jen, I need you to make a control roll. Yay! She's freaking out again. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tarrant, you don't have to make a control roll. Because, yeah. It's, yeah. Oh. oh, that's disappointingly high. Mm. <laughs> okay. So six... Plus that's your ref. Good. That's driving, which is eight. eight. That's and okay, no, driving not motorcycle. Okay, it's not motorcycle. Fourteen. Okay. Minus four is ten. Okay, you manage to get the thing started, and you jerk it out of the warehouse. Whee! Into. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Into the truck. She's, she's got it. Look, remember, it's a ten to actually get the thing started and moving. Okay. When you start doing other things like going really fast or cornering or braking from a really fast speed, then it goes to a fifty. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm sure. I'm sure. Roar's got some more new skin spray on stuff when I, you know, <laughs> bounce off the motorcycle a little bit later down the line. Okay. Okay. So Kovic is like back on the track. Back on the track. Everybody, we're going out. We're going. We're going. Um, okay. Right. And I aim the mm -hmm. motorcycle for Kovic. <laughs> Kovic's like already on the track. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and trust me, if you do aim for Kerwick and you hit the truck, yes, it would be because it was an accident. It was an accident. But, you know, if I okay. killed Kerwick, I'd be like, oops. Yeah. Stripe takes off and he starts driving. Okay. Um, I suppose at this point in time, yeah, Dan, you've probably walked your way through here. Um, so everybody's on the truck and off you go. Jen, I need to make a control roll. Whee! Check drivers. Oh, boom. Not a problem. Okay. You're getting this up to speed. It's going quite nicely. Um, Tarrant, you're watching this. You're kind of like, <laughs> okay, she seems to have it in control. Um, but how reliable she's going to be is a different question. That being said, the truck is pretty much soon up to about 60, 70 kilometers an hour. Um, can't really go much faster on these back roads. It is supposed to be like a main thoroughfare, but it's pitted all to hell and gone. And the shocks on this thing are impressive, but they can't deal with too much. The bikes, of course, are juddering up and down, but they're managing it okay because that's what they're designed for. Um, yeah, the sun has now well and truly come up. Remember, you guys started out in the night. You've been traveling for quite some time. Then you had the encounter with the nomads. Got here early, early in the morning. Um, but now it's really beginning to get hot. Um, you guys are getting bored. Um, Dan, this is your opportunity to see if you can deal with any of the counter-intrusion programs that the firewall has set up against you. I need you to roll a d10 against your library search. And while he's doing that, is there anything else that anybody wants to do? Four. That's a 20, dude. That's not I'm a problem. Back. Okay. Hi, back. Sorry. I had a phone call. This is Dan. All right. Jen, so, so, we, so we pick up Danny's corpse off the side of the road. We put it on the back of the middle cycle and we keep going. Um, this guy got uh, shovels. We'll bury it out in the desert. Uh, no, 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 but we could, we yeah. could eat it later. Okay. What is up with so, you eating people? We're in the <sighs> desert, man. We're in the desert, okay? It's going to be a hard, hard time surviving. Survival uh, of the fittest. Like out of a friend of Piseki, what's this about eating? Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, while Dan's busy doing that, okay, Kerwick has now deployed the side rails of the truck. The anti-aircraft are up. The anti-personnel is up. He's on definite, you know, high alert mode. More importantly, he wants eyes on the truck as well. So he wants two people up, either on top of the truck or on the actual rails themselves it's going to be four hour shifts two volunteers first two who's up Kovic. yeah no he's Kovic gets to stay inside no, no he's volunteering no, Kovic gets to stay inside <laughs> well i'm outside i can't do anything about that <laughs> i'm on my bike okay free free as a bird get some fresh air i guess okay so we've got one volunteer anyone else i don't know what Kovic. we're volunteering for Kovic can nominate okay <laughs> What are we volunteering for? Who goes outside on to the do truck? What? Uh, just to be there. 
Um, Basically, be an eyes on, a, you know, a, a sentry. Seen from okay. Titanic. Yeah. I would do it. Okay, so Drix and Menzies outside. Drix, where do you want to be? On the actual rails down at the bottom or on the top of the truck itself? On the top. I'll steal, mm -hmm. I'll steal the rails. Okay. Uh, you can be on the left, the right, or the back. Um, the plus side is you're getting a beautiful breeze from the truck actually moving. Uh, mm -hmm. The downside is you're also getting all of the dust and the grit and stuff that's blowing up. It's coming yeah, straight so at you. Goggles. The rear sounds it's lovely. It's not like a beautiful yeah. breeze. Okay. <laughs> You'll be with my long well, flowing gridded hair. <laughs> okay, so the back is probably the best place, although there's a little bit of a vortex that's basically keeping you pretty clear of all of the grit and the dust. But it's not pleasant and it's boring as all mm -hmm. hell. Okay. Yep. Uh, you're pretty much in the nomad la in the nomad lands, in the middle of the bad lands. So there shouldn't be too much. There's not much in the way of traffic as well. Um, that being said, Drix. <laughs> God, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I need you to make an awareness check. Benzies, you make an awareness check as well, and then I need both of you to make an int test. Sounds like we picked the wrong person to stand outside. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know. Okay, 18 on awareness. Okay, not a problem. And, then, and that's a very successful int check if you've got a wrong Very successful int check. Yes, you do. Uh, Drix, I need you to roll an int test as well, so below your int. John, mm -hmm. next to my awareness skills, it says recon and M N H. Uh, image enhancement. Uh, Remember, he's got cyber eyes. Those are electronic eyes with image enhancements. Um, essentially, you combine that with the teleoptics that he's got, and yeah. A mouse farts. Okay, no. If, if, if the mouse farts, he's not going to hear it. But if a mouse takes a shit anywhere within about a 500 meter radius of Drix, he's got it on camera. Have you ever seen mice take shits? It's really, really quick and pustule like and not loud. That's no, why I can quite confidently head. say I've never seen a mouse shit. <laughs> But Drix oh, has seen Drix. lots of mice. In fact, Drix probably seen so much he wish he forgot it. <laughs> He'd be like, no, not another one. No. Drix has forgotten it. <laughs> Hence the vodka. Hence the vodka. Yeah. Well, my awareness is plus 23. He wants you to roll. Another. Yes, you've got a 31 and okay. below your int, no trouble at all. Okay. Menzies, you keep an eye on everything that's going on around you. Um, you notice several cars that come past, this and that. Okay, um, you're also in that. You, you make a habit of check of keeping a track of each of the cars just to see if there are any that are actually slotting around, coming back, you know, moving in a pattern or anything like that. Luckily enough, absolutely nothing. You're convinced that there is, you know, it's total random traffic. Okay, Drix. In the meanwhile. You're also doing the same, but you're not just concentrating on cars. I mean, you're looking at falcons that are flying by, um, uh, cars, everything. Okay. Mice, paying close attention to mice. <laughs> Apparently. Okay. Um, the one thing that you do notice is that as you're traveling along, okay, off in the distance, literally. <laughs> Damn it, Shirai. <laughs> no, Shirai. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> yeah, probably about three or four kilometers away. Um, what would normally be outside of the sight of normal distance, you catch a glint, just something hovering in the sky. Okay, nothing unusual about that. I mean, this place has got car, uh, planes, airplanes, helicopters, AVs, and stuff like that. But a little while later, you notice it again. A little while after that, you notice it again. It definitely seems as though there is a big thing it. that is following the truck. Okay, um, This could be a good thing. I mean, it might be an oversight that you're not aware of. It could be a bad thing. You're not 100% certain. Um, more importantly, because it's so far away, you can't really make out any details. But it, it's definitely airborne. It probably isn't a helicopter, though it might be. It would have to be a damn good one to keep up with you. Um, but other than that, it's a truck or, uh, sorry, it's a plane or an AV of some sort. But, yeah, it's too often to be a coincidence. Aliens. Mm -hmm. What's up? Aliens. 
<laughs> Invaders. Strangers from the outside world. Truth is okay. out there. Yeah, this is after about two or three hours of... Um, anything Anything you want to do about that? Anybody want to do anything? Are you aware of it? I don't know. Depends on what Drix says. I mean, does Drix really want to say, hey guys, I glint out the corner of my eye and I saw it again? <laughs> hey guys, I have glint out of corner of my eye and I saw it again. <laughs> wow, that's original. You're still, still on top of the roof, though, right? Well, I uh, thought yes. at them would not. You, I can redo it as a shout, but I didn't think you'd appreciate. No, no, no. Remember, you've everybody, got you've got you got comms. Everybody's wired into that. Okay. Right. okay. Come you've on, guys! It's the, the future. Public. It's the future, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've probably got networks for everybody. Um, if you guys are wanting to, if you're wanting to have a separate network that only you guys are in, and not Kerwick, Stripe, and Link. Unfortunately, you'd have to think a way around that. But yeah, the comms are for everybody. So you mentioned the tricks. Lock your ears for a second. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. Okay. <laughs> so, Drix, do you mention this or not? I just did. Oh, okay. So you let everybody know. Okay. Uh, Link, of course, is on this, like, I don't know, mold on old cheese. And he's just interrogating his system. Okay. He's checking up and he's like, nah. Old man's talking rubbish. You know, I mean, it's there now, but it wasn't there for quite a while ago. And yeah, looks like it's a what personal vehicle of some sort. Nothing special to look at. Mm. That's suspicious. Okay. Well, not really. I mean, he's just saying. Look, it's you know, Kill it's Link. there now. There's definitely, he's a traitor. but he's a traitor. <laughs> it hasn't been there for quite some time. I mean, maybe Drix is getting confused. <laughs> the old man babbling again. <laughs> Something along those lines. It's all okay. vodka. Hmm? <laughs> it's discrimination. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if our eyes are a camera, can mm -hmm. someone hack into it and make us see something? <laughs> Possibly. Stop hacking my eyes. <laughs> that would be very, very difficult because, I mean, it doesn't broadcast or anything like that. You'd have oh, yeah. to physically yeah. link yeah. in and might have some disagreements about that. You know, cranking open someone's eyes and plugging a wire into them tends to make them slightly nervous. <laughs> okay. If you can't play about what he sees then. Uh, I don't think so, unless he's got an optical recorder. I can't remember whether he's got one or not. Uh, let's go take a check. Tricks, uh, tricks, tricks, tricks. Ah, oh, damn it. Wrong button. Anyway, I'll go reposition myself next to Drix. Mm -hmm. Just to keep it eyes on, not a problem. Uh, Digicam, oh, no, okay, hasn't got a recorder, but he does have a digital camera. Yeah, so probably many, 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 many pictures of shitting mice. <laughs> <laughs> And a healthy obsession. <laughs> uh, no. So, yeah. Basically, um, I don't know. You probably did take photos of this. You take photos of everything. Um, but yeah. Either Link just didn't notice, or I don't know, he's picking a fight, or he just wants to seem special. Could be any of the above. Not special. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Tiny while later, uh, you guys come up against the first pike. Okay. Um, it's a nomad clan. It's just a little barrier across the road. It's nothing particularly serious. Um, basically, it's a downscaled version of what Militech was doing when you left Night City. They want their cut, uh, and they just you know, basically want to get some money for you guys to carry on driving past. Uh, needless to say, they're aware of the fact that they're parasiting, uh, so they choose their victims fairly carefully. But you guys are the only big truck that's on the road, so you can see what probably about 10 kilometers before you even get anywhere near them that they've got a spot they've got a scout out they've got somebody eyeing you out and then they start dragging the barricades across the barricades themselves are pretty substantial they're actually driven by a car which drives across the road drags this thing yeah. behind it um and you probably could ram the truck through it um but it would leave a mess and that's the whole idea 
you know, it's supposed to be fast and quick and easy to move, but enough that it's going to make an inconvenience. It's better to just pass a couple of bucks around. Uh, Kerwick seems to expect this, and you know, he definitely sidles over to to Stripe, and he's like, you know, okay, start slowing down. We're going to have to pay some ruler here. Um, are you guys okay with this, considering what's just happened? Anybody want to make any suggestions? Do anything different? Mm. We'll go in order. Jen, you got any opinion on this? I'm at the back. I will follow mm. suit. What does... Uh, who's on top? Mendez. What does it look like the, from the front? The Menzies. Menzies. Mm-hmm. Not Drix and Menzies. Menzies. Drix yeah, Drix and, and Menzies. I mean, does it look pretty standard? I mean, do they have any, like, heavy weapons? Do they have, like, anything else besides Uh, the barricade? Nothing visible. But remember, these are the people that, when the cops come down the road, they are just casually stopping to eat a burger. Hmm. And then when the cops are gone, they've got a barricade and guns. You know, that sort of thing. (laughs) So if they did have any heavy weapons or anti-car stuff, you wouldn't be able to see it straight away. It's not like the mugger is going to sit there with a sign going, we'll mug you for cash. And, yes. <laughs> you know, a spanner in the other hand. Well, I will follow suit then because I'll be at the back, so. Okay, so you just slow down. Okay, I'm going to have you make a control roll. Yay! <laughs> Yay! This is, this is the best part of the day. Oh, damn. <laughs> it's fine. It's still 10, right? Okay. No, it's actually a nine, but it's okay. Okay. So I'm interested. <laughs> is Jen still traumatized from the fall on the bike, and is that why you're having her make yeah. control checks all the time? Jen doesn't know how to ride a bike. I see. <laughs> I was I was so, hoping that it had a smart link. <laughs> yeah. So you know the the easy stuff like starting and stopping that you do in your sleep without even thinking about. <laughs> she has to make a control roll for. Well, yeah, so, I was, I was, you know, I was just following torrent. You know, whenever he like does a turn mm-hmm. or whatever, I just. Duplicate the turn. No, no, no. <laughs> Getting it started, that's a roll. Once it's started, you know, the basic stuff is okay. Once you've got it moving, it's okay. Yeah. As soon as you start trying to do a steep st- steep curve or mm-hmm. a stop or right. anything else, you're going to have to make a control roll. Well, <laughs> I accelerate and I roll off the back. <laughs> 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 okay, that's not a control roll, but it is an athletics test. Right, okay, that's good then. That, that's you know fine. How to do quite yeah. well. Mm-hmm. Fall off motorcycles, roll off motorcycles. Yes. I can do that. I yes. can do that. <laughs> Was that actually a joke? Or are you planning on doing it? No, no, not yet. Okay, just checking. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so nobody else is nervous about this. Nobody wants to do anything. They're all okay with the truck slowing down and dealing with this, and then being on your way. It's a shakedown. Oh, it's not my money. Yeah, it's not our money. I'm taking my focus okay. off of what I've been doing since much earlier. Uh, pretty much so. In fact, actually, while we're doing this, I'll let you make your f- see if you can pick up anything. Oh, I get Roll again, Peter. This is match fixing and bullshit. That that's another D10, Peter. So you roll again. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you guessed it. Link is lying. <laughs> um, more importantly, the radar on the truck has been seeing everything around. Okay, and it's been aware of that thing that's been following you since just after you left the Militech area. Okay. Um, more importantly, Link has got a very interesting setup on this truck computer. He's got one set of information, which is what's actually happening around, and he's got another set of information, which is what's being displayed on the screen. More importantly, the truck itself uh, has got little bits of uh, hardware that were not originally installed, and that, more importantly, Kerwick seems to be unaware of. Uh, A large part of those um, is a cell jammer. So if anybody tried to make a cell phone call, it wouldn't happen. a link presence jammer, which means it's basically a combo. If anybody tries to get anything out of the truck, not going to happen. The short range comms, he's monitoring all of those. And more importantly, there is a long range projector. There is some sort of tight beamed communications that's happening between the truck and that thing that is following. Okay. And it's all completely separate from what's being displayed. You know, those few moments when he was busy doing something while everybody was up the truck? Yeah, he was busy communicating yeah. and dumping files and sending stuff. Um, pretty much, he's letting somebody else know 
exactly where the truck is, exactly what's happening on the truck, who is on the truck, what they're doing, um, and lying about how much information is around the truck right now. Oh, can I kill him? <laughs> I want to kill him. This, this, by the way, was supposed to be revealed gradually, bit by bit. By well bit. done, Peter. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, on, on a combined Super roll hacker. of 50, it's kind of, kind of like um, you've downloaded all of this. Do you like, you know, on your computer, you're showing what he's seeing and what he's showing. You've got the logs of the video dumps and all of the pictures of all of you guys and, wow. you know, that he's well, sent good. out. Um, yeah, you, you've got everything. So basically somebody out there knows exactly who's on the truck, exactly what you've got, exactly what you're capable of, what you've done, how you've done it, what the disposition is, where the truck is, what the truck has got on it, everything. All right, John. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do I have the tech savvy to change the information that he sent out? One way to find out. <laughs> Here comes the yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Don't worry. This is a critical success which builds on that. Okay. You get a plus one for every five points of critical success above your target. Uh, in this case, that's plus five straight off before you even roll the dice. <laughs> so I'm going to go with a yes unless something goes horrible. 25. Okay. But also, <laughs> I, do I have a copy of all of, the, all of the stuff that he's done? Like, Oh, hell yes. Good. So, okay. I mean, oh, literally. We've got proof that he's screwing you, us. You have downloaded to your computer everything. Peter, I, can't, I cannot um, overemphasize the, the severity of the critical that you've just rolled. You've literally taken um, an entire game's worth of this guy is the stab you in the back. Oh my God, we had a traitor on board all along. And you've, and you've just nailed it now. Yeah. Boom, blown it out the water. This is where, you know, the bad guy Spoiler makes a cameo. Alert to do his exposition, and some stupid idiot shoots him in the head with an arrow, and he dies. <laughs> you know, or or it's, like, it's like actually like watching an episode of Columbo. <laughs> you know in the first five minutes who the bad guy is, and the motive for him killing the person, and you spend the next 45 minutes trying to figure out which eye is the slow one on Columbo's face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think you're no. really <laughs> yeah. let's put it this way Peter you have probably as soon as you realize this you've completely and utterly divorced uh, Link from his connection and you're just cycling old footage you know it's the, the classic CCTV camera on a loop right now you're, you're holding up the, a, 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 a picture in front of the camera <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, except it's the computer equivalent of that you've also downloaded it all and you really think that somebody should become aware of this pretty quickly. Yeah. One problem, of course, if you try using the comms, it's gonna... Link is going to know about it. <laughs> if you say it out loud, Link is sitting about two and a half meters hey, away from how you. Do it. I just put it. them on mute so they can't hear me. So, so Link does not know if I upload misinformation to the place above then as well. He, uh, he may be able to punk. figure it out eventually. Yo! I'm just going to type from now on, like, okay, because otherwise I can't hear what's going on. He's going to be saying something, and he's going to figure out that they're answering something different. But he's not going to know that you're doing this. Be, okay. It'll take a while for him to figure it out. Okay, so is there a way that I can make it that stuff redirects to me instead of to him? What stuff? <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah, definitely. You've divorced him completely from this. Let's put it this way. He thinks connected to them but he's not <clears throat> so everything that's coming into the truck you now see and hear everything that the truck is sending out you're seeing and hearing as well he's not seeing it he is completely unaware of the fact that he is no longer in control of the cpu of the truck okay and we are, i still have no idea who this what these people are Oh, definitely not. I mean, it's all encrypted from their end. But let's put it this way. If they were friendly, they wouldn't have all of this information. Because they've already got it. They hired you. More importantly, they don't know to need to know where the truck is. Because Kerwick knows where the truck is. Kerwick is the one who wants it so that nobody knows where the truck is. You're cutting out. Oh, sorry. Is it that better? I, c I can hear you perfectly. Yeah, I could hear you fine, John. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, long story short, whoever he's beaming this to isn't on your side. Yeah. Hey, Orgy. Okay. Thanks so much for Fun the follow, dude. Hope you so the show. you know the truth. The whole lot of role playing at the Everybody moment. else knows the truth, but has to pretend they don't because that's what role playing is all about. Deal with it, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've got, I've got downloaded information. I will definitely let them see if I can get it to them without... <laughs> Fair enough. Unfortunately, the only people that you can do that to are those who are in the uh... truck with you right now. What's up, boy? Wheel? No, I just... Uh, someone pointed out something to me about my... radar detector. I mis I misread it. I thought it was an actual radar, and I, was, I thought it was like a short-range thing, but actually picks up if there's radar encountered. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So you probably find that whenever you were on top of the truck, it was going beep, right. beep. Yeah, that's beep. so annoying. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think um, the person in the truck right now is Thayer. Is that correct? Yep. Uh, yep. And, oh, yeah, shit. Menzies is on top. Sorry. So, Yep. yep. On the plus side, of course, uh, if there's anybody who would pick up on what he's looking at on your computer, it would probably be there. That's true. Okay, so there's actually a good one to speak to as well, then. Possibly. Yeah, I could do something. Thea, I'm going to have you make an awareness test, just in case you're like, what? What is this? <laughs> Why have I got this accent? Because I don't know how to do a French Germanic Renaissance. <laughs> you know. uh, well, no, he's not actually French. He's more like Albanian. I don't know what, I don't know what the accent is. Oh, but it, Albanian could be French. Well, he probably sounds irritated. Period. <laughs> he's like, what now? <laughs> okay, that's all Jerry. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Uh, yep, you're doing an awareness test. Unfortunately, uh, one is not very good. It means well, that you have. A it's a fumble. Huh? It's a natural fumble, Danny. Roll severity. Yes. Roll your severity. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. You have to roll a severity. You have to roll a severity on this. Yes. Oh. 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 Okay. Fair enough. Okay. So you <laughs> don't realize what's going on. <laughs> Something along those lines. Okay. Um, so in this case, unfortunately, you're not doing very well on that score. Um, you're like, what? What? What am I looking at? Why are you showing me this? Okay. Uh, oh shit! Rolled wrong button. Sorry. Ignore that. <laughs> um, how about this? While everybody else is doing their initiatives back, you know, in town, I was probably just drinking and, you know, feeling the effects of it right now. It is possible. That is true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not a problem. Um, so, anyway, you burst out. Okay. Link is still busy doing what he's doing. But Kerwick looks up and he's like, you know, what's going on? What are you guys doing? He's definitely picked up that you're shocked at something. But you know, doesn't know what. Time to make up a cover story. The two most antisocial people on the truck. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Okay, I'm gonna have both of you uh, make a social roll. I'm gonna make it really, really difficult though, because if either of you are more than three points out in either direction from the other person, you're both trying to tell different stories, and it's not well. Wow. Okay. That's <laughs> Well, shouldn't you go like initiative and see who can uh, uh, who, who uh, can no, blurb, no, no. About the, <laughs> blurb it out first? Well, <laughs> how, about, how about this, John? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say anything. I'm well, going to wait to see what Danny says or Thayer says. That's exactly what the role is for. You know, do you wait long enough? Do you wait until you're uncomfortable and then say something as she says something? I don't know. It's all up to chance. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to roll regardless, and then yeah, do ten each after. of you. Would to not talk at the same time. Exactly. Okay. What do I or want? basically to say, you know, one of you goes nothing, and the other goes, oh, we're checking out the video scores for the latest bruise ball. Which I would have been like, is still nothing. Okay, so Dan got a five. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Yeah. No pressure, but. Dun dun dun. Ooh. Six. Six. Okay, Woo. so Dan, Dan says nothing, and Thea's like catches up on Dan's looking up at him, you know, slight shake of the head. 
And he's like, oh, no, Dan has just pointed out that this truck has a 14,000 horsepower plasma reactor. That's a really big engine. <laughs> and link the trader, link the trader. He's going to sell us out. I guess I'll see the No, my wife says anything. <laughs> and, you know, Kerwick sort of looks up at this and is like, uh, huh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty fast. You're right. Uh, you can see straight away he's got like, uh, I don't know what that, uh, you know, plasma reactor. Fuck, it's got a big engine. Doesn't yeah. need fuel. It's impressive. Okay, well done. You've managed to get past that with too much trouble. Um, that being said now, though, you've picked up that um, Drake Dan has got something that he, very important he wants to show you. You look down and Thayer is pretty much above average intelligence, so it doesn't take him too long to go, aha, I'm looking at this on this screen, and then right next to it on that screen, I'm looking at something else. When I look up at Link's screen, I'm seeing the same as what's on the first screen, but it's not the same as what's on the second part. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, a little bit. You know, and then, of course, I'm pretty sure Dan does the, you know, move over to WordPad and goes, you know, types link is betraying us by showing stuff, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't take you long to figure it out. Yeah, when he, if he types that up, I'll just give everything. I'm kind of going to give a look at it and go like, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, now there are two of you that know, but the truck has now come to a pretty good halt. Okay. Kerwick does what Kerwick does, which means, of course, he opens the door and gets outside, Start swaggers for. Oh, wait, sorry. Yes, sorry. <laughs> no. Oh, that would okay. be you or Tarrant. Right, right. Okay. No, Kerwick has to impress them first with just how important he is first. Okay. Um, uh, Dan, Thayer, you guys, I'm not making an awareness roll, but everybody else who's outside, you can make an awareness check if you want. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Hmm. I have to look at my spreadsheet. Yeah. Ah. yeah. yeah. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, okay. nothing to see here, folks. No, Terrence probably looking at this going, hmm. <laughs> I wonder if there's any alcohol. 14 plus. <laughs> 14 plus. 21. 21. Okay. Uh, 16. Gotcha. Drix, I'm looking at you because it's important. Yes. Gonna I make like an being, why am I being looked at? You need uh, to make an away. You got a job. <laughs> Dear Jeb. Nice. Okay, 17. Fair enough. Okay. Um, for everybody else who did well, congratulations. But of course, it's not particularly important because uh, Eyes McEyebally on top has figured this, has spotted quite a bit. Uh, and Jen has definitely picked it up as well. Okay. There are four or five guys that are manning the barricade. But of course, there is four or five other guys that are dispersed all over the show. Two to each side, but they're definitely in like a V formation. Two behind, two in front. So, sorry. Two which are in the front on either side and two which are behind on either side. Okay. So if they do have to get you in a nice crossfire, it will be a crossfire that doesn't leave them open to shooting each other. Um, definitely they've got lo Nomad long rifles. So either assault rifles or some sort of sniper rifle. It's not going to be pretty if you guys do get into a fight. Um, the most important thing of all, though, is that these guys appear to be on edge. Um, it looks as though they're expecting something or someone. Uh, Kerwick doesn't seem to have picked up on this. Um, but when he starts talking, you can't hear what he's saying. But you can definitely see that these guys are getting a little bit aggro. Okay. Uh, um, we need a translator. Torrent, get your ass to the front. <laughs> Tarrant, get your ass to the front. Okay. Tarrant, you've just had somebody make a suggestion. Okay. Uh, two seconds, please, guys. I need to just be AFK. Do I smell booze? Oh. I've really got booze in the front. Whatever the suggestion is, I ignore it. Okay. Well, you Obviously, know, once again, it's, it's going to involve Kovic fucking up something got to do with nomads and causing shit. So I don't know if, you, if that's going to piss you off again or not. Mm. I know it irritated you last time. No. Okay. Uh, Tarrant, you've just gotten a suggestion cra uh, phrased as an order. <laughs> I'm going to have you make a cool test first, just in case. Okay. 
come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh, Yay. okay, you're fine. It makes sense. I mean, come on, Kovic's an ass. You don't want him fucking around with this sort of shit. Okay, uh, I want you to go up and make a s <laughs> to make a social test. Um, <laughs> at the same time, everybody who's on the top of the truck or behind, so that's Jen, Drix, and Menzies, I need you to each make another awareness test. Your target is 30, by the way, so good luck. Oh, wow, that's not happening. <laughs> 20... Mm. Wait. Probably not. A little uh, short. Hang on a second. What's... Uh, 20. 14. Okay. <laughs> okay. 19. Tarrant. Damn it. That takes me too long to work that out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Tarrant. Uh, yeah, you can figure out what the problem is straight away. You know, Menzies walks over there as the big corporate hotshot, and he's ready to lay down whatever amount of cash these guys ask for um, because he's a big corporate hotshot, and he's got that amount of backing from his corporate bosses, except he's not paying that much. These guys have just, you know, you know, Kerwig's walked over there and gone, okay, so a normal briar would be like a couple of hundred. He's got one or two thousand, and these guys have said, okay, the jill to pass is 10,000. It's like, whoa, that's... That's unreasonable. Even as an opening bid, that is completely and utterly unreasonable. You know, I mean, like, an opening bid to get a two or three hundred euro bribe would be about a thousand. Ten is... Are they stalling? Oh, I goodness knows. Well, okay. They could possibly so... be. Mm -hmm. I, I say to these guys, all right, mm -hmm. we'll, we, we, we got to consider that, that offer. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to confer with my colleagues <laughs> and, uh, I, I huddle up with the colleagues and say, look, th these guys are being assholes. We, we tried mm -hmm. doing it the easy way. Why don't mm -hmm. we try doing it the hard way? You mean our way? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Okay. Hmm? I, I offer that as a suggestion. <laughs> okay. Um, gotcha. Okay. So nobody else has noticed anything, have they? Nobody got above that target of 30? No. <laughs> okay. Not a problem. Okay. These guys are. Oh, wait. Any... You broke up their job. Human perception. Any better social or human perception? No. Yep. <laughs> okay. Make a roll. Target is 15. If you get a 20, it'll be even better. Bump, 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 uh, yep. Dish. John, do I have access to the weapon systems in the, in the mm -hmm. truck? Uh, you do. And I can make use of them? Oh, of course, yes. I mean, it's got oh, an anti-personnel for it. Oh, God, I'll walk away from the group. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad Dude, it's a little 5mm minigun. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, I, I could just see this truck turning into Optimus Prime and killing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it is possible. Okay. Um, these guys are definitely, uh, you know, they're getting a bit aggro now because you guys are taking far too long and they're wondering what the hell is going on here. Um, you can definitely see that one of them's leader, okay, and he's looking at this, and, you know, hey, what's going on? You guys going to pay up or what? Yes, but the the cash is in the van, so we're gonna go get it. <laughs> yeah. uh, this this is when you say like, okay, uh, and you say to Peter something cool like, okay, um, give him the goods or give him the cash or give him the you know okay. whatever, and he gives him a whole lot of like copper right. or brass. No. Yeah, we only work in brass. Before, <laughs> before you go any further about this, Kirby, make a cool check. Okay. Shoot, Kirby. Shoot. No, Kerwick has figured out you're up to something, so he's willing Kerwick. to take this for a little while. No. Um, <laughs> well, basically, if you think about it, Terence just taking control of Kerwick's situation, and Again. Kerwick isn't particularly happy about that. A second but, time. <laughs> yeah, you know what? He doesn't quite understand why these guys are asking for so much money. Okay, Tarrant, when you say the van, I assume you're about the bandit wagon. Or the Sorry, truck. The truck, rather. Ah, okay, my apologies. The bandit wagon would have been a clever idea. Why is that? <laughs> I don't know. I just think it would have been hellishly funny. Okay, so you go back to the truck. You get inside. Um, Meanwhile. Where's the cubby hole? Where's the cash? 
Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, well, here's the problem, okay? Kermick's got cash. I mean, he's got 7K sitting in cash in the actual truck. He took a 1,000 of it with him, but because, I mean, he was expecting to just go, you know, they go, we want a 1,000. He goes, here, back in the truck. Flex muscles. Yes. But, yeah, he doesn't have 10K. More importantly, this would take out everything that he's got for the trip, mm. just for that 7K. That's, that's um, not very well organized. Okay, right. So, okay. what's happening behind me? Uh, nothing. Nothing okay. that you can see. Yeah, thank you. Okay, okay, so you do notice, of course, that the guys with the guns that are nicely hidden all around the show uh, are definitely getting a little bit more ready to use them. So, the situation isn't going very, very well right now. So I can't, like, if they keep an eye on us, I can't, like, wink at the one guy who's hiding who thinks I can't see him and, like, uh, invite him over. <laughs> you probably could, actually. I mean, uh, there's nothing stopping you. Uh, They're a good, what, 50, 60 meters away, but, oh. yeah, that's that's close enough to be seen. Definitely going to try that. <laughs> Make a special roll. Hang on one second, guys. <laughs> Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna roll. Here we go. Nine. Nine. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, the guy that you wink at uh, is definitely confused by this. <laughs> no, it's not even that. He's like, you know, these guys are supposed to be. Okay, maybe something is happening that I don't know about. <laughs> and you can see that he relaxes a little bit. Just <laughs> <laughs> on the situation. Be friendly. <laughs> yeah, well, it seems to have worked quite well. I mean, he's he's definitely not got his finger on the trigger anymore. He's, oh, really, he's a little bit more relaxed. The situation seems, for him at least, to be a little bit <laughs> like, okay, something's up that I don't know about, and this isn't as bad as it looks. Oh, good. Okay, okay. that's one less person I have to shoot in the face. <laughs> yes, this is true. This is true. Okay, meanwhile, back in the truck itself, Dan, there, uh, there. Tarrant is in the truck, but he seems to be talking and conferring with Kerwick. You guys can try and get some attention to him or to Kerwick, but Link is still doing what he's doing. He's still right there. Anything impressive you want to do, yay or nay? What is Link doing? Uh, Link is busy doing what he's doing at his computer, but I mean, just the fact that he's there, he's less than two meters there. away, makes it can difficult. I see what, can I see what Link is doing on his computer? Dude, you are looking at what Link is doing on his computer. Okay. What is he doing? I mean, specifically. It's, it's not up to you. Try. Peter asked lots of questions. Yeah. <laughs> Techie stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Techie stuff. You know, he's busy basically faking uh, a sense bubble around the truck itself uh, while making sure that the communications link to whoever it is is still sending stuff that it needs to send. Yeah. What a bastard. Yeah. Um, okay. I, um, Tarrant, you're the one who seems to be in charge of this whole problem right now. Kerwick is like, I haven't got the 10k, you know, and it's ridiculous. Yeah, I they can't think it is much. It's, that's stupid. So this is your play. Uh, he's willing to go to the wall if he has to, um, because these guys are clearly, they're looking for something more than money, obviously. Okay. What do you want to do? <laughs> well... Look. He basically is like saying, we're going to shoot them, right? Are you okay with shooting them? Because I want to shoot them. Yes, at this point, we can't pay. We're not turning the truck around. So mm -hmm. the only way is through them at this point. <laughs> so okay. I'm putting on my helmet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that should be I'm a sign for everybody go, else. <laughs> that shit's about to get real. <laughs> okay, we're hardcore. We're going to go hardcore. Okay, we go straight into initiative then. All for it. Um, you guys haven't got a plan at all. Literally a no. case of get your guns out, we're going to start shooting. John, mm -hmm. can, can I damn the bandits' comms? Do they have comms? Yes, of course. They're wired into the bead network. <laughs> do you want to? Right. Yeah, I'd like to try and do that. Okay, remember, go ahead, you do that, not a problem. It's the flick of a button, dude. You literally just switch it off. So okay. they don't know about what's about to happen. Um, the chase car, the guys that were in front, do you want to switch that off? Yeah. Or not? Okay. Hmm? Remember, yeah. there's two There's two cars with you, 
Uh, one is yeah. the bandit wagon, which are the guys who are stoned, and the others are the semi-professional guy chase car itself. They haven't actually done that much. Lock and load, gentlemen. Damn. Uh, Dan, I need to know who are you switching off? Who am I switching off? Yeah. What are the Just options? The bandits. Yeah. And the chase car. The chase car. I, I'm, yeah. I was going to go. Oh. By the way, you you probably pretty much uh, you know straight away that there are three people in the chase car, which is more than anybody else has known so far because they haven't taken their windows down or anything. And then the truck behind us with the the stoners. Yes, and there are five of them. But you knew that already. Yes. Because you've seen them. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one's better. I'm, I'm going to go with the bandit you can, thing. You can do both, oh? by the way. Sorry. Okay, well, let's do both. Both, neither. <laughs> you've got complete control. Okay, so you switch off all of their comms, and then, you know, you guys, so you guys know that it's going to go down, but that's about as much as it goes. Okay, so we're going to go straight into initiative. No one's got a plan or anything. Uh, no last word. Uh, invite, the, invite my new buddy over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's 60 meters away, dude. By the time he walks oh. here, this will be over. I can go join him then. Well, that's true, actually. You could. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, fuck it, I, you know. I climb off the motorcycle just in case I have to use it for cover, and mm -hmm. I just keep my eye on my friendly buddy and the other guy behind me. Okay, not a problem at all. Okay, Tarrant, you then step out of the truck, and yeah, it all starts getting real very, very quickly. We're going to go straight into initiative. You guys have definitely got a drop on them. Um, Nick, you've got a 17. Go for it. Two. I really was hoping to shoot him in the face and save him a lot of anguish. Uh, hmm. You could put your move into opportunity and wait on Tarrant and see what happens. I think right I will now, do that, please. I will opt to go last in the group, but not before the bandits. Uh, oh, okay. Priming any reflex units you have. Mm -hmm. Yes, that sounds pretty good, but I think I'm already the fastest person here, so... You might be. You never know. Okay, I'm going to go after mm, yeah, Danny. There we go. Okay. <laughs> no pressure, Danny. <laughs> Dan, Dan. No, after no, no, Dan. No. I'm going after Dan. Okay. So not a problem. You put your move into opportunity. Tarrant, you've stepped out of the truck. Okay. I don't know. Did you step out of the truck? That's actually a strategically bad move because the truck is nice and armored. And, and plus, they kind of figure something is up if you climb out with your helmet on. If you stay yeah. in the truck, you're limiting your, sh your firing at, but. <laughs> You've got a lot of protection that way. What do you want to do? I, well, I, saw, I kind of wanted to isolate the leader and take him out first. Okay. But obviously, well, if I come out stepped all in cameras, then it's like, hmm, that, that's a bit suspicious. Where Am is I the caught? suitcase and why has he got a combat helmet? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Maybe the cash is in the helmet. Ah. For my next trick. <laughs> Look, we're very stumpy. Can I yeah. call him over to the truck? <laughs> <laughs> you can definitely try. That's a social. Let's see if you can lie effectively. I feel like I'm, I'm effective at lying. <laughs> I feel you're not. Uh, I don't know. Thank you're you such so a much. stalker, Shirai. Eight. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. You know, some basic lies are so easy to most tell themselves. Okay, so you basically like, come over this way. Okay, uh, he starts coming over, and so do both of his buddies. Excellent. Okay. Uh, I'll put your move into opportunity as well. Then, and we'll move on to the next person. Is Thea. Okay, currently you're in the truck right now. Um, you're not sitting down, but yeah, your lines of sight are pretty bad. Right now, the only people that you can actually see are the leader of the nomads and his two buddies who are busy walking towards the truck right now. Nobody's opened fire or anything yet, right? Nothing's happened. Okay. Is there any way for me to get out? Just to... Uh, step up, <laughs> open the door and step out. Yeah. Brilliant. I'm going to just stand there menacingly. Okay, not a problem at all. I'll put my move into opportunity as well. Like if anybody I, else 
kind of get the impression this is going to be opportunity, 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 opportunity. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to yeah. We're waiting for Torrent. <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, like, we all just go around in this big circle of everybody waiting for everybody. I know it's going to happen. It's like everyone's going to wait, 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 and it's going to be my turn again. I'll be like, ah, oh, fuck it, here we go. Yeah, you, know, you may as well have gone first. Yeah. Uh, that being said, uh, Jen, it's your turn. Okay. Unless you want to put your move into opportunity again. No, I'm. I will. Mm -hmm. ah, shit. I hate this. I react to stuff. I don't stop. Wait, no, wait, never mind. Wait, here we go. Okay, we're going <laughs> to. I'm going to quick draw and shoot the guy behind me. Okay, ah, not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, shit got real. Okay, shit got real. Right. So it's when you say plus my dice roll. Okay, here we go. When you say quick draw, are you talking about your rifle or your handgun? Uh, handgun's only fifty meters. Yeah, I was going to say you the handgun. Say, you got the most sixty, so it has to be my rifle. Yeah, you can still hit them, but it's a target of thirty, which is difficult for Jen, but mm. not impossible. Nah, I'll do my rifle. Okay, not a problem. Uh, that's going to give them an awareness notice check on to see if they notice this. There's going to be one, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Just stretching, so, just stretching, guys. Just don't mind me. Okay. So the uh, yeah, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> they do know. They obviously do notice, but uh -huh. not fast enough to do anything about it. Nineteen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nineteen. That's your roll to hit. Yes. That's on a three-round burst. That's a three-round burst. Sorry, uh, Peter. Loud. 22. Yes. Okay. That's a hit. How many hit? Oh, uh, roll. Uh, D10? No, wait. We want a D6, right? D6. One, roll. two, three, four, five, six. Four. That's so two shots hit. Two shots. Where do you hit him? Okay, let's get rid of that one. Two D10. Two. Go. Six and you seven. Six and seven. Both arms. Oh, that's Ow. Okay, roll your damage. It's what, 5d6 plus uh, 1, I think. Five, uh, I've got it open. I do have it open. Give me a second. It is... Uh, 5d6 plus 3. Okay. Jeepers. Okay. So, 5d6. So, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, and then just roll that twice. So, 29 and... 28. Ouch. He's going to feel that in the morning. Okay, BTM at 3s, 5, 6, 7... <laughs> he just needs to pass out. That's okay. all that has to happen. Uh, well, no, he's got to make a death save. Oh, oh balls. <laughs> he fails. And a second <laughs> death save. Oh, oh, shit. He fails. Uh, you've literally blown off one arm and then blown off the other arm. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So Good thing it wasn't it, the guy that case. I liked. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's a case of whether the hydraulic shock kills him or not is, is completely irrelevant. Okay. But. That's some damn fine shooting right there, by the way. Thank you. You won't be drawing a gun anytime soon. Uh, or at all. You are nothing. Look at his toes. <laughs> you sick bastard. Okay. Menzies, you're on top. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait. Hang on. You weren't on top. You were on the sides. Left or right? No. I oh, said I went back. upstairs to... Ah, my apologies. Yes. Okay. So you're on top right now. Uh, you've got complete nut of sight of the battlefield. You've definitely got a plus one for line of sight on everyone. But the downside is everyone can see you. Jen's yes. just wheeled, turned, and shot uh, with her customary quickness and decisiveness. What do you want to do? Anything or nothing? Um, that hatch still near me, right? It's about a couple of meters in front of you, yeah. Like it's three, four, five. Odds and it's closed. Come on, I hit roller, damn it. Roll. There we go. There we go. It's closed. Odds. Dunk. Yeah. <laughs> Any other cover in the area? Yeah. Uh, well, remember, there is the missile turrets uh, and the, yep. uh, the, the, the anti personnel turret. I wouldn't get behind the anti personnel turret. That thing can swing around <laughs> really. It's going to be loud. Yeah, the problem is as well that you, know, you can duck behind. The guys mm -hmm. in the front won't be able to see you, but the guys on the side will. So, yeah. But I mean. And where did next one guy go down? Okay, so to the back of the truck, there is one guy on the left and one guy on the right. The guy on the right that has just dropped. Okay. So there are two guys on the left, one behind the truck, one in front of the truck, and then there's one guy on the right currently in the front yeah. of the truck. And then, of course, there's the three guys that are coming towards here, and there's possibly one or two others in the actual bandit, the barricade itself. Okay. 
Okay, um, any vehicles near to the right hand side of the truck? Like flanking it almost, rather than uh, sitting behind it? Not flanking it, no. The only vehicle that is currently uh, in front and to the right is the one that drags the barricade across the road. It's hooked into the barricade itself, so it's not going to be mm -hmm. turning or doing anything fast right now. And right now it's basically got the left hand side and the rear of that vehicle is towards you guys. Uh, is it occupied? Do I know? Uh, it was occupied, whether they're still in it or not. Drivers, they may have gotten out on the other side. Yeah, I was just wondering if I knew or found. Okay, um, I shall um, <clears throat> drop off the back right hand side of the truck if I can. Okay. Easily. Pop myself down. Don't get caught. Yeah. <laughs> ha, ha. I'm not hooked in. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> not a problem. Okay, that's a move. You're down. Anything else you want to do? Um, try and use some of the tractor's cover over there. I'm assuming it's got rather assume... large armor sized tires. It does indeed, and I'm assuming that that's what you've done automatically. Yes. Okay. I'm quite happy there. Um, if I... Mm, I've lost my plus one for line of sight on everybody. Yes. Um, can I... Mm, oh, hang on. Spray Sorry. My apologies, Rue. I actually thought that you were on the railing still. I wasn't paying attention. Jumping down is going to be an athletics check. Just don't roll a one. Don't do a gen. It's a big trap. You're fine. You're on the ground. You probably find that you're up against one of the tires, which means you've got perfect line of sight uh, on the two guys that are on the left. You were on the right-hand side. Right? So, yeah, you've got perfect line of sight to the guy that's on the right-hand side. The guys on the left can't see you, and the guys in front can't see you. Great stuff. Um, I'm going to go deter this bastard a little bit by lopping off my high explosive projectile, which is what it's there for. <laughs> which is what exactly what it's there for. Unfortunately, quite a bit of range, so you're going to need a 25 to hit. But it's a grenade, um, so it doesn't really make a difference. Unless you fuck up that. Kapowie! That is true. Um, what is the range of the individual? More than a hundred. Uh, uh, it's about a hundred in total. He's about okay. seventy away from the road, but you're about twenty. You're about you're offset by about ten meters. So you draw the hypotenuse. It's below a hundred, so that's why it's a twenty-five. But it's close to the hundred. Yeah. In fact, actually, hang on. Twenty. Fifteen. Twenty. Yeah, it's a twenty-five. Cheapest. I haven't played this game for so long. I had to think about that. Oh, no, I need to find the applicable skill for this. Heavy weapons. Which I do not have. Oops. Don't That's you? Okay. To my SMG. Sorry, SMG anyway. then. <laughs> oh, it's a miss, but it's a 16. Oh, and 16? would it also be. Yeah. Sorry? And would it also be possible to try and boost my initiative gainers? Definitely. You just switch it on. What about them? Yeah. It just gives you a plus one initiative, but it's pretty cool. So, I mean, it's fine. Okay, long story short, you've missed. You've missed by two, so you roll a d10 for the scatter table, and then it moves by two meters. I don't think it's going to put it five, one, two, three, five, so to the right. Uh, this is a, it's a mini grenade, right? Nearby anyone. Yeah, it's yeah, not going to do any damage. Um... He's outside of it. It's a three meter Okay, but it does have the about up. Blah, blah, blah. Try that again in English. He does still have to make a cool save because somebody's dropped a grenade right next to him. And cool as a cucumber, he is unfazed because he knows it will go nowhere near. Okay, uh, then it is their turn because they come in first. Okay, here's the bad news. Um, the guy that did that has now got two targets, Chen and you. Odds and it's you. <laughs> of course not. Uh, no, he's going to try and shoot Jen. Oh, okay, that's try a... shoot the brick. Yeah, unfortunately, he's not got a very good line of sight on her. I'm going to negative two penalty. I roll a five, ten, fifteen, six. Nope, no, nope, that's a bad miss. Yeah. Ah, try again, dude. Oh, okay. Uh, the downside is even though it's a, an assault mm -hmm. rifle, um, because it's just on the, past the hundred. He's got a 20 as well. Okay, not good enough. Um, then your mate, the one that you were friendly with, yes, fumbles his cool save completely, so he is just like, I don't know what the hell's going on. Good man. Um, but she was friendly. Yeah, I still have. I haven't shot him yet. No trouble at all. Okay. Uh, 
and the two who are with the big boss. Okay, one of them is okay, and the big boss himself, more than okay. Okay, um, so they're the only ones who can actually do any now. Uh, big boss figures out what's going on, uh, that this shit just got real, and... It's a trap! It's a trap! Uh, he turns and starts running back towards the vehicles that are parked on the side of the road where the barricade starts. Guy number two uh, tries to cover his boss by bringing up his SMG and just doing a spray and pray to keep you guys suppressed. Okay, here was a seven, it's good enough. Okay, everybody who's in the truck right now needs to make a cool save. Uh, that's Tarrant, sorry, everybody who's facing that side. So it's basically just Tarrant, Kerwick, and Drix. <laughs> Kerwick doesn't make it. Drix? That's a Drix. Chance, Tarrant. Kill him, kill him. <laughs> okay, what's your cool, Drix? Tarrant, your cool's not eight, is it? <laughs> no, no it's you. not. Okay. <laughs> well, we could make it eight if you want. That's seven. Freaking out. Okay. Okay. Just stab so, him. Stab him rude. Now. Shit. Tricks. You've, been shot. You've been shot at before. It's not a problem. Okay, even though you know that you're in an armored tank, one of the bullets comes really close to the, you know, the porthole thing. Okay, and you instinctively flinch. Um, it's an embarrassing move, but it happens. Kerwick, no wait. That's what happens. Kerwick flinches and ducks, so you duck instinctively as well. <laughs> okay. Sympathetic ducker. Sympathetic ducker. Okay. Uh, duck. Trucker hugger. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, Dan, Thea, you guys are actually in the truck, so there's not really that much that you can do. I'm going to go straight up to Trix. That's the truck. That's nice you can do. Hmm? You get I said, oh, my I apologies. You did. Did you step out on the left or the right? Whatever the fire is going. Yeah. Okay. Line of fire. Pretty In much. that case, I need you to make a cool test as well. Yeah, you get to roll. Go, Danny. You can do it. Yeah. Low. Low. <laughs> D10. Oh, Low. Yep. D10. Under D10. your cool. Uh, push roll. There it is. Nice. There we go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Under your cool. <laughs> Rose was like, um, <laughs> Real cool idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, of the three guys that you can see in front of you, um, the big boss guy has turned and started running back towards the barricades. One of the guys has brought up a machine gun and he's just unleashed a prey and prey. He's clearly just wanting to suppress you guys while he backs up. The third guy is literally standing there with a shotgun in his hand, completely frozen. What the fuck just happened? Mm -hmm. What, if anything, do you want to do? How far away are they from the rest of the, like, my people? Uh, they're about four or five meters away from the truck mm. i mean it's it's literally the guy's just taken a pot shot from about six meters with a full clip of an smg and literally hit the truck that's all he's hit well it's definitely not a thing for a, a micro missile launcher is it in that case um i don't know micro missile is what you do at the end of your move because it's firing yeah. um can i can the one that's busy running away towards base can i shoot him with the rifle yeah, definitely. Uh, actually, no, I take it back. You can't. Why? Because you haven't got a rifle. Ah, oh, but I still have a gun. What have I got there? <laughs> it's an SMG. Is it an SMG? It's got a 200 meter range, doesn't it? 100. Yeah, that's true. But you still can't shoot him with a rifle because you haven't got a rifle. <laughs> I'm trying to find where I have my stuff, actually. I'm trying to find where I have It's under the weapons folio. I'm sorry. I put every... It was supposed to print it out. Earlier. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Stern Mayor P41. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. She just studied this. Right. So what do I need to use to hit? 15 uh, meters. You need to get 15 or higher. Okay, and I'm adding, what's this wrong? So sorry, what am I adding to the wrong? It's your SMG, your SMG uh, skill. It's P, it's pistol. Uh, oh, are you using the pistol? I thought you were using the SMG, no, I'm sorry. She doesn't have an SMG, does she? I thought she did. I could be wrong. I've got a, I've got a Militech under barrel M131. Your this. type is roof and P. Mm, okay. <gasps> Don't tell me I got it wrong, because that would be horribly embarrassing. This is being streamed. Yes, recorded forever, <laughs> forever on the internet. <laughs> and you guys die. And we did. Okay, new game. <laughs> and everybody's dead. Yes. Yeah, so Riff and Oh, okay, no, the... 
Yeah. Sorry, I take it back. You do have a rifle, but it's like, it's it's a rifle that's pretending to be a rifle. It fires a rifle that's five millimeter cases. You mean cases. it's a rifle pretending to be a SMG? Yeah. Okay, no. <laughs> it's like the small, small ah. brother of rifles. Okay. I thought he had a small gun. He does, but it's because it's a small assault rifle. Dan, he's got a small gun. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Danny, I take it back. You can shoot him with a rifle. Plus two weapon accuracy on that. I assume you're linked into it. Yep. Jesus, this is not going to go well. Wow. You rolled two, right? Um, that was the cool check. Wa plus oh, okay. two. Oh, okay. I know. I've still got it. Yeah, in my cool check. Yeah. So the roll still. So my ten. Roll to hit. No, no, the two was the cool check. So you've already got a 10 before you even look at your skill or your ref. I'm going to assume you hit. No. <laughs> okay. I can see a 4d6 plus. Well, here's the thing. No. You're smart linked into that gun, uh, which means you can choose straight away whether you want to fire it as three round burst or auto. Auto, let's go full out. Yes, Tarrant, kill them all. Kill one... them all, Daddy. <laughs> Tarrant, what's the number one rule of cyberpunk? <laughs> Never go full retard. Don't go full auto. I mean, re yeah. auto. <laughs> Never go full okay, retard. Okay, unfortunately, Danny has decided to go full auto. Okay, it's... in that case, we do have to calculate this out. So you've hey, got 10... Go Two auto. hours later. No, 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 we'll, we'll condense it, don't worry. Okay, cool. You've got 13... I've got what? You've got 13 before you add your ref and your... Uh, rifle skill. So my, my rifle skill is five. Okay, so. rifle is five plus five, so you've got eleven, thirteen. Your target was uh, fifteen, so that's nine, which is brilliant. It's three shots per person. Okay, so I need you to roll four d six plus one, I think, times three. Okay, well there's the first roll. Eight. Oh God. Ooh, that's better. That's much 18. better. Yeah. And last one, 16. Nice. So it's 9, 19, and 17. Okay. Um, roll, roll th okay, for the first guy, roll 3d10s for location. Location. Roll a 1. 15. Okay, no, so no, 2, two four, 4, and nine. 9. Yeah. Okay, 2 is the torso, 4 is the arm, 9 is the legs. Okay, the... The 16, that's a 17, hits him in the legs. Two, six, eight. Uh, shit, sorry, my spreadsheet. Done. Uh, the, uh, okay, the eight to the torso does nothing. Uh, and then, oh wait, sorry, the 18 to the arm might. Okay, so he's got one death save for definite and it's at negative two. Jesus. Hmm. Is he okay, dead? So that, that was interesting. He's not oh, dead. He did. Oh, he's got a stun save to make. He's not stunned. He's just off. Oh, come on. Human. Okay, roll 3d10 for the next guy. We're going to keep the same damage rolls. 3, three, so nine. three, three 9. Okay, so 8 is dink. Uh, 18 to not dink. Uh, but in the same leg again, he hasn't got armor on his leg as well. He's got a Duck, duck, duck. It's exactly the same situation. Negative two. Boom! You've just blown his leg off. He drops to the ground. No. Okay. Uh, and then the big bad bandito who is running away and has got his back to you. Roll again. 3d10 for locations. Five, ten, and five. Arm, arm, and other leg. Okay, so arm, no, and two, and then leg. Uh, shit, the leg is 17. It's 14. It's 11. Yeah, that's a death save. And and then 18 to... That puts him to negative 3, actually. Done. Uh, death save at 3. No, he's still alive. Wow. Uh, but he is very, very stunned. Okay, so he flops forward. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Oh. Then, uh, no, the guy survived a stun save. He doesn't have to make a cool save. Nothing else happens on that score. <sighs> That went a lot faster than I thought it was going to go. Well Thank done, you very John. much to everybody who sat and listened. Thanks, John. What is well the worst okay. initiative? And I just sit on the fucking roof doing nothing. That is true. <laughs> and here's where it gets worse, because Drix, it's finally your turn. But Jen, do you want to do anything? Oh, no, Jen has had a go. Yes, I have had a go. Who, Thank you. 
who who else put their move in? Oh, it was Tarrant who put his move in opportunity. Tarrant, what do you want to do? Do you want Drix to have a go, or do you want to step in here? I'll let Drix have a go. Okay. Drix, you I haven't really done anything except for jam the comms, eh? Hmm? I haven't really done anything except for jam the comms. That's exactly it. Okay, okay. Drix, you're currently on top of the truck. Um you probably still have the machine gun installed because you didn't tell me that you were going to change anything. So you've got the machine gun, you've got your rifle. What do you want to do? Is there anyone left to machine gun? Oh, hell yes. I mean, there's the bandit guy in front who's down on the ground. Then there's the, not bandit, there's the nomad guy who's in front on the ground. Then there's the nomad who's completely and utterly unfazed. He was the guy that didn't open fire, but just seems to be no trouble at all nice, um, there is a very very surprised guy on the left hand side <laughs> back and then a not so surprised guy on the left hand side in the front and then there's a guy uh, then there's a not so surprised guy on the right as well he had a grenade drop he's already shot though so he's not going to be a threat to anybody so I found a mortar earlier yes oh, no. <laughs> Take it um, uh, Probably. A duck for cover, John. That's my move. <laughs> Fair point. So you want to use the mortar? Yes. D Heavy weapons. Before you fire it into the air and it comes down like a bastard. Yep. This is true. It's very true. Uh, I don't even know if you have heavy weapons, but if you do, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so, I, by the way, when she's done, none of us will have heavy weapons. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. This is basically a hand-guided mortar. Um, the chances of her actually hitting anything are actually pretty good, considering her heavy weapons. Yeah. I... <laughs> you might hit your allies, though. Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is in the way. Right? Roll the dice, Shirai. Roll the dice. Oh, God. Is it a go. 10 again? Trix, roll the dice. Don't drop it. Nine, please. Oh, fuck Nine. you. Right, it's not a one. Or roll it's, again. <laughs> it's not a one. Okay. Unfortunately, your target number is 15 and you've just rolled 14. Now would be a good what? time to use a luck point. I'll use a luck point. Was it okay, 14? So, yeah, to make it a 15. Okay, for a hand-guided mortar, you actually managed to hit. Question, who were you shooting at? We didn't it's actually a mortar. establish that. It should hit everybody. Funny, when you say a hand... No, no, no. Remember, yeah. Sorry. everybody is um, distributed around right now. So you've got the three guys who are just in front of the truck. You've got the one guy who is about 60 meters away to the right. Another guy is 60 meters away to the left and another guy who's 60 meters away behind to the left as well. I guess I should probably go for a 60s and meters away person. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, the most threatening one with the ugliest face. <laughs> left. So, okay. Right or left front, left back? Your choice. Who's got an uglier face? I'll pick that guy. Probably the guy who's sitting at the back with his rifle up, the sort of like, oh, surprised look <laughs> on his face. Oh, not that one. Oh. <laughs> now I'm going to give him a huge surprise. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, so you've hit. Um, it's, it doesn't really matter whether it's on target or not because it's got a five meter explosion radius. Um, 7d10. Okay, hold on. Seven. Yeah. Okay. No, no, Shirai, stop. Right. Tap the D10 seven times and then just uh -oh. keep on rope it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ignore those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ignoring those. Okay. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> Are you sure, John? We'll make it official. <laughs> you can make his death save. Uh, negative Dead, what? Jim. <laughs> yeah, so negative six. Weak to the weak location. Yep. I want I want one his, of his limbs to hit uh, Menzies in the face. His I BTM drops it to forty pieces of damage. 
Uh, um, geez. Jirai, <laughs> there are no limbs left to hit anyone. Ah, oh, boo. Um, he is... We got a puzzle human. He's yep. very, very small pieces. Hamburger you know. heaven. <laughs> Ball kind of bearing. Small droplets. <laughs> uh, yep, let's put it this way. What's left of him is coating the bearings that have been flung around. It's going to be a closed yeah. casket. It, there's not going to be it's, a more, it's more like a lunch baggie of leftovers. No, it, it's more like somebody with a rake yeah. going over a pure, 20 square pure meter area. area. Yeah, puree in a plastic yeah. bag. There's going to be some very nice flowers growing there in a couple of weeks. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, finally, back to Tarrant. There's an enormous boom behind you. Somebody's dropped heavy weapons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I see a spray of a person. No, 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 you definitely don't. You just okay. hear the boom They're behind you because, yeah. All right. There were three people in front of me, but then some action hit and they all went in different directions. So who's still alive okay. at this point? One of the dies is dead. Okay, the big bandit leader has dived to the ground, and then one of them is standing up, completely unfazed. He's busy reaching into his bag to grab a new clip to dump He's into his into SSP. his bag. How far away what? is he from me? Five, six meters. <laughs> oh, great. I can cover that ground pretty quickly, can't I? Yeah. Before he can get his clip. <sighs> well, he's already had his Thanks, go. Right. So. The poor guy, he's probably sitting there going, oh, oh, something's up, it's not going to be that bad. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, so Rob, yes. Um, he's... What do you want to do? What I want to do is I want to rush him and crush him. Okay. I totally want to move is just to actually shoot him. So, I should probably just do that. Smart and Tarrant. Same sentence. He's not dumb. He's yeah. Just... This guy's no busy. This guy has got <laughs> an empty gun in one hand, and he's distracted while reaching for the other. Okay, Cl safe. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to rush him and crush him. Roll an athletics save. Uh, athletics check, sorry. Six. This is important because for every five points past ten, you get a plus one on your follow-up. Okay. <laughs> Piggy, bite you. Uh, so I am... Uh, Twelve plus six is eighteen, so you get plus one. Okay. Okay. What are you going to do? Melee? Brawling? Uh, I'll, 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 well, I've got metal arms, so I want to hold them real close, John. I want to hold them. You're gonna snuggle him to death. Okay, that's a brawling check. Okay, dokey. So it's yeah. only a 15. You get plus one from your charge. You get plus yes. one from your roll. Mm. That's 17. That's 26. He does get an opposed roll with a negative three penalty, which Fuck. doesn't help. Doesn't help. Oh. You've got him. Oh, nice. He could yeah. whisper something Dude, intimate into he his He has to get ear. a 26, and he's rolled a 6. So unless his ref is 10 and his skill is 10, you have got him. Okay. He's my little bitch. Uh, pretty much, yep. Okay, so you have rushed him. You can crush him. There's nothing to do that. Yes. Uh, he did not get out of the way. Uh, this, if I remember, is not pretty. <laughs> uh, what's Tarrant got that's important? Cyber of empathy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's going okay. to so, clean out a whole lot of sticky bits from uh, his arms. <laughs> oh, okay. So, what is it? Uh, 40 Ooh. Is it? Okay. I'll take it. 40 10, you say? Yeah, plus two. Ah. 23 Ooh. points of damage. Uh, okay, ignore. Plus two. Yeah, so that's 25. Minus 2, 23. Nice. So that's 23 points of damage. Yeah, he fails his death save. <laughs> Pop goes the weasel. <laughs> but I did love him. He loved him and squished him. Oh my, oh my god, you did an Elmira on him. I'm going to yeah. love you and squeeze you and hold you and kick you. 
<laughs> okay, not pretty at all. Right. Please tell me you're wearing a bow in your hair, Rob. <laughs> I do no, that down down so Don't you paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We then go straight back to the beginning of the next phase. Jen, it's your go. And yeah, there's nobody really close for you to shoot right now, but from your position, you've got perfect line of sight on both of those guys who are in the front, to the left and the right. Why hello. Click click. Boom. Gun jabs. Gun jabs. What you doing? Oh wait, I have to actually select my dice. There we go. Boom, shoot him. In the face. Oh, there we go. Well done, Rob. Okay, how bad is it? Oh, no. Oh. Well, at least my gun doesn't blow up. Okay. Right. Weevil. Yes. <laughs> go back to your folio. Uh, wait a second. Okay, yeah. But that's a death save roll, isn't it? From, from okay. Fumble. And then go to personal merits. Personal merits. Have I missed something? Uh, mm -hmm. Boom! No. Headshot. No. no, no, no. Personal merits. Second page. Oh, second page. Uh, yeah, below her personal flaws. You picked up on those straight away. You know, the light sensitivity, uh -huh. poor sense of smell, the illness, and great stuff. Uh huh. Yes. The, the reroll death save, that's great. Yeah, what picked did up I miss on that. Now? The uh, last one. one. Oh, 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 there we go. Once per session. Okay, with a D6. Once per skill, per session, with a D6. Okay. Alright, I so did actually the miss time, that. I did miss yes, that. Remember one. the last time you rolled off and rolled yeah, a fumble? Yeah, but that wasn't me, that was Mitch. <laughs> no, before that. <laughs> when you rolled off the truck. Oh, oh, right, okay. <laughs> okay, well, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so I roll a D6 then. If you want. You oh, can no. still keep the fumble. No, oh, no, let's let's go with it. Let's see what happens. Let's okay. let's test it. <laughs> Someone's gonna okay. lose a limb. Yeah. Okay. You so know, I'm... after all of this, he's gonna roll a one on the d6. Yeah, most likely. Here we go. <laughs> no. Oh, he's gonna roll a six. I'm almost okay. disappointed. <laughs> so you have effectively rolled a six. Okay. Add that all together. What do you get? Uh, twenty. No. That's a hit. No. 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 Sorry. Twenty is my initiative. Sorry. 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 Uh. I'll get Are you I'll get sure? There. Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Rifle, 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 rifle. Oh, no, it's 20. Yeah, I was yeah, going to say. Sorry, it is 20. No. Okay. It's 20. Yeah. Uh, you add in the three round burst, and it's 23. Yeah, well, pow, pow, pow. Okay, okay. you add in the smart loop, and it's 25. Uh, okay, so it's 5d6. <laughs> 1, 2, 3. Wait, wait, location first. Eh, location. Why didn't you aim? Uh, because I was being quick. So seven, <laughs> six, five, uh, three. What are you doing? Yeah, location. Three round. Oh, three round burst. Ah, man. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. Okay, thirty-five. Thirty-two. Twenty-eight. Do you want me to re-roll the location then? I'm I'm trying to figure out what you're doing. Three round burst. Five d six. One D six. Say what? There's a one D six. Okay, there we go. Two. Okay, so right. one shot hits. One shot. Where hits. does it hit him? One, two, eh. <laughs> eh. Okay, it hits him in the five, which eh. is which makes sense. Right. Four. Okay. Now can you roll your five D six plus I just did. three? No, you three, didn't. Two, five. five. One, two, three, four, five. I just rolled it. D ten. Those are D tens. Those are D tens. <laughs> That's the problem, Weevil. The damage of her gun is 5d6. 5d6. You know what, John? That previous one then was also wrong because those were 5d10s as well. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Oh, God. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you make me reroll things. <laughs> I should have just shut up and let you do the fumble. I that mean, really, so yeah, fun. it would have been so much faster. Okay, 22 minus 2 is 20, <laughs> minus 6. And I can't brain now, man. Yeah. You're making me brain. <laughs> it's, like, it's too late in the afternoon. No, okay, he's dead, Jim. <laughs> Damn, very, I'm almost disappointed, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, okay. Yeah, long, 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 dead. 
Okay. okay, next on the list, we've got Tarrant. Back to you. Well, um, okay. Hmm? No, no, never mind. Sorry, go on. Yeah, which one did pick it? Uh, uh, that was the guy on the left to the front. Okay. So the only person that's currently left is the guy on the right to the front, who you can't see. So don't worry. But it's Tarrant right now, who's currently standing with a dead body in his arms. Oh, over the... Why do they keep leaving me? Yes. <laughs> Over the bandit leader, who is currently on the ground, rolling over to look up. Yeah, I think I'm going to hug him too. He's on the ground. Bunny so slam. To the ground. Hmm? Bunny <laughs> slam. <laughs> yeah, you can't see me. Okay. That's true. The other option I suppose I should point out is that he also has a hammer hand, eh? Ooh. I'd like now to train it. Now it's just getting it. kinky, John. Hmm? Okay, that's just an option. Like a total hero move, though. No, actually, I'd like to restrain him because if he's the leader, maybe he can talk the other guys down so this doesn't become any messier than it has to. What? What other, other guys? guys? Oh, there's, well, <laughs> there's, there's him and one other guy. But, oh, I can, I'll fuck just, him, then I can crush can, him. <laughs> you know, you can drop, just, drop the arm off and beat him with it. Well, what, yeah. what, Hammer hand this. what an impressive claw you've got, Rip. No, no, no. Tarrant has a hammer hand. Oh. Oh, I thought he oh, okay. Yeah, you know, seriously, just, just Hulk take smashed. whatever's left, take whatever's left in your arms and just beat him to death with that. Yeah, I'm gonna go Goro on him. Ka -ka 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 -ka. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so you hit somebody with an improvised weapon. A soft improvised weapon. <laughs> but it's a slow death. <laughs> Floppy sock. Uh, mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> oh no. There's, there's nothing stopping you. I have no objections. It'll be what? Uh, a D3 plus your body type modifier. So. Oh, a D3. Okay, thank God. D3. <laughs> uh, plus body That's modifier. That's a D4, Rob. Mm -hmm. Is that a D4? Oh, idiot. Let's try that again. Okay. Two. Plus. Plus. Two. I don't know, you tell me. I think it's two. It, it might be three. Uh, I've got blind. Uh, no, plus one. How often do you buy a body? No, no, no. It's it's three points of damage. So you taking into account his body type modifier, you kind of paint him with a body. But how often does that happen? And that's a fair point. That's you, a fair you, point. You, you get shot. You roll over. You see somebody beat you with a body. <laughs> no. A wet, messy body. <laughs> <You're> like what? <laughs> he's a, he's okay with that actually. Okay, so he's just going to shoot you <laughs> point blank with a with a gun. I can like, fix that. I feel like a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oddly enough, that's a hit. Uh, in your four, which is your torso, which isn't too bad. Okay. Four. Pain. Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> that could have gone worse, but it's eight points of damage. BTM. I hope it hurts. Uh, no, it doesn't even get through his BTM. It doesn't even get through his armor. I mean, <laughs> it, it, it may leave a, a slight itch. <laughs> but if anything, though, oh, I must point out, actually, it has gone through the leather jacket. No! The leather jacket. Yep. So the, the leather jacket has dropped to three points of armor instead of four. Um, but yeah, other than that, nothing happens. <laughs> Don't mess with the flesh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And then, moving on, Thea. Okay, all of your targets have pretty much disappeared now. There's nobody left to shoot. Jen's basically taken uh, complete care of that. Uh, apologies. Yeah, that's it. There's not really anything else left to do. Oh. Um, actually, hang on. No, you're at the front of the truck. So, sorry, if you do take two or three steps forward, you could quite conceivably shoot at the guy with the assault rifle who is on the far right-hand side. Yeah, why not? Let's finish okay. this. I can think of several reasons why not, but go ahead. That's not try. 
Maybe you're a closet pacifist? Yeah, let's see. Five. Five. Three, six, your total is 15. You have hit him. It's a three round burst, obvious. No, it's not. It's still on four. Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on, hang on. You are wired into that, so you can actually select. Did, did I'll you do, change? I'll just three? Do three. Yeah. three round burst, okay. Yeah. So D6 to see where you, how many hit. Two, so just one shot hit him in there. Uh, G10, right? Yeah. In the one. In the one. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, 46 plus 1. Rob, dead. Rob the number again. It worked. By his number. Ooh! 20. Woo! Okay. I see a female version of my other character in Warhammer coming out here. It's quite possible. <laughs> he's dead I was about to say he's alive because it was like he's actually only taken and then I remember double double yes um, yeah. yeah he's he's very very dead Jim blot <laughs> okay so that was a... yep okay um, so Menzies uh, there's no one left to shoot Dan likewise uh, unless you want to shoot Link um, and tricks, everything sort of just... Just casually put that in there, Josh. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing left I think left I to might do. want to kill Link, but I might want to make it look like an accident. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm just getting a little bit, um, you know, my, my combat scenes, I'd like to get one that goes past the second round eventually. Just saying, guys. That's progress. <laughs> you got up to the first round last time. <laughs> Yeah, they are uh, getting longer, Jim. They are. We're making John progress on that. I just call out to the group, make sure that everybody's okay. Mm -hmm. I can't see everybody. Uh, nobody's actually taken any damage, right? Um, the only I person that's left did. alive... I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the only guy that's left alive is the bandit uh, himself, the bandit leader. And I'm going to call it here, because we've just gone past 10 o'clock. Don't worry, it's not done yet. Ah. So, done. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I am going to hand out six uh, improvement points to everybody. Oh. Well done. Um, we Don't lose anything on your character sheets or anything like that, because like I say, this isn't an end of the session. This is a cliffhanger of a session, because none of you guys have paid attention to the truck that was coming up from behind. Oh. <laughs> dun, well, the big plume of dust uh, wasn't a giveaway. You know, I expected everybody to make their checks for it, and the one person that could have spotted didn't bother to make a check. So, <laughs> uh, are we getting pinged by radar? Uh, no, okay. not yet. All right. Basically, <laughs> What's there was the range a... of that. I mean, is it just the strength mm -hmm. of the radar from the other side, or from the other side? Let's put it this way: if there is a an aircraft sitting at you know ten, twelve kilometers away from you, pings you, huh? you'll pick up on it. Oh, uh, okay. So basically, all that happens is if a radar hits you, you get like a, a tingle. Ah. It's like a boom. You know? But now, depending on the strength of that and how far away it is, depends on how distributed it is. Right. Like, for example, if it's a, a cop with a radar gun for checking speed, <laughs> like, you would right. feel that as, you know, a localized inch yes. spot on you. But if it's a massive radar from an aircraft, you would feel it all over your body. Right. And then you would know uh, that it was coming okay. closer in string. So, you know, all it does is it just detects radar. It can let you figure it out where it's coming from right. well. Yeah, 40% of the of directional. Yeah. yeah. You basically just got to wiggle around a bit to figure out where it is. It's like 40%. <laughs> it didn't How make come... it. I moved to the left and <laughs> try again. <laughs> How come you weren't streaming this, John? You should have been streaming. I just didn't even think about it. Well, guys, I got an SMS from a guy named Andrew who's saying I can email him at his Gmail account in regards to an unclaimed estate in my name. Wow. Yeah. So long, peasants, I'm going off to live in my estate. Sounds <laughs> legit. Yeah, totally Sounds legit. legit. Totally legit. <laughs> yes. Do you remember, of course, that the, the money that you pay for the clearance <laughs> of the estate dues is, is an investment? Yes. Yes, investment. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
I'll be honest, Nick, I was thinking about um, streaming this, but then I realized that if I did, you guys might be able to just open up the stream and then you'd see what I'm looking at. And I don't want to reveal my plans. <laughs> That's a good point, but you could have, uh, you got two monitors, John. So whatever you're showing on the one monitor, you can put in the oh, other. Fuck, I've just realized I can actually set it to desktop. Yes. So in other words, you guys can see a window, not the yes. desktop I'm looking at. Yeah. Do Didn't it. even think. Good. Give That's us okay. false okay. information. <laughs> now you know. Thanks for that idea, Rob. Damn it, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely will think about it. Okay, guys, good night. It's been good. I'll see you when I see you. Where's well, Fan? Good night. Cheerio. Yeah. Bye. 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 Okay. Who to raid since John is not streaming? Do, 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 do. Where is everyone? Nobody is streaming. We're just going to call it to you guys. Cheers all. You all have a good evening. Have a good day. Have a good morning. I'll check you all tomorrow. Bye.